right, welcome back to another wonderful episode of Cooking with the Chef. I'm Paul Krauk, and today with me I have our esteemed director of our restaurant, Michael, here, who's Thank going you. to uh, show us a drink, talk about some happy hour features, yes. our menu a bit, um, and we're going we're to go into our new menu. That sounds interesting. Yes. So why don't you show sure. me what you're making today? Uh, let me kick it off for you. This is uh, my turn to do, I guess, the, the cooking, if you will, with my cocktails. I love it. Uh, we do from 4.30 to 6.30, seven days a week. We feature our happy hour menu. It has some small samples from our all day long menu that we have here at the Marriott. As far as our cocktails go, we feature one cocktail on our happy hour menu. And we run that for the whole entire month, maybe two if everyone seems to like it. So today, we are gonna make a Caribbean sunset. Caribbean sunset? Yes. This I, is, I used to live there, I don't know if I ever told you that. You did not tell me that. Oh, well, no, hopefully you know. then, hopefully so it I, up to I it. I guess I'm a great judge, so I I'll will tell so. you if it does look like a real Caribbean sunset. So the basis and the origination of this drink is based off of Dark and Stormy. Okay. Traditional rum drink that comes with ginger beer and Gosling's Black Seal Rum. We are not going to use that. We're going to change it up today, so we had to change it up a little different name. You're going to want to start with about your glass two-thirds of the way with ginger beer. Put that right in here. Always best to stop with the glass full of ice. Chills the glass as well as keeps the drink nice and cold. To create the Caribbean water, we're going to add a splash of Harem Walker Blue Carousel. Mm. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. As you can see, our water is starting to form now. Starting to see it now. To give you the sunset, we're going to use the Black Blackwell Jamaican rum. Not quite as sweet as the Gosling's, full of body, great flavor. Yeah. You want to put an ounce of half in this. Yeah. Top it off with your orange wedge. And by the time you finish the drink, your orange sun will be setting in the bottom of the glass. That's pretty cool. I like that. You. This is a, a featured drink that we have, you said, for the month of April and maybe May if it's... Maybe May if it takes off as well as I think it will. This is going to be our happy hour cocktail that we're going to feature, 4.30 to 6.30. If you happen to come in at a time that's not during happy hour, we'd be glad to make the drink for you any time of the day. Great. And then we also have, I know we went over a little bit of, of the, um, the happy hour food. Yes. So we have sample size portions, is that the That's program? what we do. We took some of the most popular items from our all day menu. We make just a small portion, kind of give you a little snack. You know, the happy hour menu is uh, meant to be for everybody. So we have things like our house kale chips. We also have our signature chicken uh, lemongrass pot stickers. Yep, our we, dragon chowder. Our dragon chowder, our award-winning dragon chowder, chef. Don't right. spit yourself on that. No, I know, but I'm actually uh, pretty excited because uh, we have a new menu coming out. As you do. Well aware. Yes. End of this month, and we're actually changing the dragon chowder. We to the new award-winning chowder. The 2015 award-winning award winning chowder. chowder yes. Very excited to try that. Yes, uh, it's a surf and turf chowder. Really? Yeah, really good. Interesting. Um, as well as, uh, what, we have about six or eight items that we're changing. Excellent. So yeah, it, it, it's our spring summer menu. We're looking forward to it. Uh, next month we will have a lot more details on it because it will be rolled out by the end of this month. So, so stop into our happy hour and you can see our new menu. There you go. You can start off with some happy hour items and work your way into our new dinner menu items. Right. And what else do we have for high? You see, you had mentioned we have some other. We do. Happy in addition hours. to our signature happy hour cocktail, the Caribbean Sunset. Did it live up to its name? Yes, it did. Excellent. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, you know, we like to feature something for everybody. Not just, and not everyone likes cocktails. Some people like beer. So we do a rotated selection of local beers. Right now, we are running our Narragansett Light Tall Boy can of beer. Named after Narragansett, Rhode Island, where it was originally brewed. Now it is brewed in Massachusetts, but still tastes just as good. Mm -hmm. If you're not a beer fan or a cocktail fan, there's always the Octagon wines that we feature. Made by a uh, winery out of Lodi, California. They make it specifically just for us. They make us Cabernet, Merlot, and Chardonnay. Right now we are running the 2014 vintage. And sometime by the end of this year, we might have the 2015 ready. Okay, great. Thank you for joining us, Michael, and showing me this, this the Caribbean sunset. I can't Thank wait you. to try it. Thank you for watching another great episode of Cooking with the Chef. Um, if you like what you saw here, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, Tell your friends and hope to see you here for dinner. Have a great day.